Hello, my Miss Percibles. And I am here with the unboxing for you guys today. Say what? Come again? From who? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this video. I'm not going to talk you guys head off. Let's just get into it. This is going to be a quick unboxing. And then I will come back to you guys. I will explain my purchase. Then come back to you guys with a later on video maybe of what's in my bag. So here we go. Oh, the back one already came off. <laughs> Let's throw that to the side real quick. So, here it is. This is the Brahmin Small Duxbury, or the original, as they would say, Duxbury, and the color pomegranate. So, I've seen the I have uh, one little piece in the color pomegranate. I already did an unboxing on that was in the hall, I believe, with Coach and everything. Um, I'm probably um, drop the description to the link to that video in the description box, but and I had took the pom that item out with another bag and it was just so pretty in the daylight. Like I was like, oh my god, this color is so pretty. So I was just for a while now I've been wanting a bag or debating going back and forth with of a bag for this, and I just couldn't decide on what style i wanted because all the styles that they really had in this color i really wasn't feeling so i went on went out on a limb and decided to open or span my horizons and go ahead and just try to the regular duxbury i know the large is just a no 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 hit to the no for me so i decided to try the original duxbury to see how I like it, you know, I thought it was going to be bigger. So that is, mind you, that's a plus. That's a great thing. And I absolutely adore the color. So the pomegranate color is like a berry kind of pink color, which you know how pomegranates look. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish unwrapping this bag with you guys. So <laughs> um, when I seen that, where did I get this from? I believe it's Belks. Let's see. Uh, Belts um, had a sale for this baby for $206. I said, there it is. That's that sign. <laughs> That's that sign. So I went on ahead, pulled the plug, and got it. It was another style called the Leah. Lee that I wanted. So, it was another style, I'm sorry, you guys, called the Leah that I was looking at. But it's just a full crossbody bag. But it would have went good with the extra piece that I have. But I've just been into satchels and hand tote bags. Handheld bags. So, the size is great. It also has feet at the bottom. So, this is the regular size Duxbury or the small Duxbury in the color pomegranate. So gorgeous. I hope the lighting is picking up that pink and berry in this. But it is so pretty, y'all. Look at that. This is the sides. The size. I don't have an eye, y'all. <laughs> I don't see not one eye. Whoa. That's crazy. <clears throat> so there is no eyes on here. So it's all tail. And I am okay with that, y'all. So, it does have a back slip compartment to this baby. And then this is the opening of the bag. It does have a wide opening. And I was afraid of that. But I love that. Um, here's the crossbody scrap. Which I probably won't use. Look at that. That's cute. The way it opens up. That is so cute. None of my bags have the scraps. I mean, the um closure is like that. Look, it's like a actual claw, like the little claw machines. <laughs> oh, man. Look. 
that is cute so this is the crossbody scrap <laughs> the dust bag that it comes with uh it does have a back zip compartment and then they go all your registration stuff and then it has two slip compartments and then like a little pan loop right there as you can see two little like a pencil and pan loop and that's the inside has this look like suede lining so it is a great size it's like the perfect size for me um <clears throat> this is the extra piece that i have for it i'm currently looking for a wallet for it as well so I hopefully I'm trying to well I know there's some out there but I'm really trying to find a sale on the wallet actually <laughs> trying to find a sale trying to find a sale so hopefully I could get a good deal on the wallet I probably won't carry it like that but this is the um added piece this is what I this was one of the color bricks that I was just able to really get my hands on because I really wasn't able to get my hands on any bricks like it's hard to get it and i was so blown that i actually looked at the breast cancer awareness the pink one that recently came out last month brit and i i look it was in the middle of the night and i saw it i said well as soon as i wake up get my kids up for school i'll go ahead and purchase it well i got up that morning and it said sold out so i was so bummed i said why you ain't just go ahead and pull the trigger on that baby but this is the piece oh that kind of it's fine with me to wear it like that it's a bit the bit the brits are pretty big but that is kind of cute or either have it on the side i wonder how it looks on the side just to have it as a little charm on the outside no i ain't really feeling the side i don't think or i don't even know if i have it on displayed on the outside um, I will try to see if I have a charm already to match or maybe buy a charm um, for it. I don't think that's the way I had it. I think I had it twisted the other way. But, yeah, I just wanted to come and show you this really, really quickly um, and do the unboxing for this. After, I think I have one more in mind. I really want to try a certain bag, but I'm still debating on the color I want to choose. Um which is one of the bucket bags is the shira is it the marlo marlo is it the uh it's another one oh my god i forgot the other name of that um bucket bag but i know and they also have the mini amelia but stay tuned if i you know decide on a color i can find that's nice i will probably do uh either a what's in my bag or unboxing or maybe both so just stay tuned for that but i just did want to also come in and show you guys this beauty i can't wait to wear it it is so fall ready so pretty look at it has feet you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna let you guys go um, does any one of you ladies have the Duxbury? If you do, do you have the regular size or the large? I really thought this the small was just going to be so much bigger than this, but it's not. It's like the perfect size. And y'all know I'm always used to smaller bags. So if I say it's the perfect size, the, the regular one, it's the perfect size. Like, it's the perfect size. Like, I feel like the only people who will go large is if you just completely use only or always just been used to large bags. And you just can't make that adjustment like you pack the whole kitchen sink with you, as they say. But other than that, like if you're used to like regular size bags or just a medium to large bag, I think the regular Duxbury would do you just fine. Just fine. But anyway, I want to let you guys go. And I want to tell you guys to remember, remember, remember to always, always bless someone else. And remember that when you're down to nothing... God is always up to something. Now you smile and be blessed. Bye.